I'm here today with Jen Messina of Dream Life Design and Gavin Mackin, contractor extraordinaire, and we are dealing with the hows, whys, whens of this phase of construction. But also, I'll share at the end how this can help you. You guys have all heard me mention Jen Messina and Dream Life Design before because she has helped me with plenty of my development projects, helped tons of clients of mine redo bathrooms, kitchens, etc. But today we're talking about 430B Street. And I think something that's really cool to ask Jen is like, what do you visualize in this small, cool Sausalito space that most excites you? Well, Tyler, I have a lot of exciting things that I think about in your projects because you're very creative and it's very fun to work with you. But in this space, we do have an interesting dilemma that is... Conundrum. A conundrum that's going to turn into a design bonus because we are going to figure it out. One of the things we're talking about is taking your kitchen island and either reorienting it or keeping it the way it is and doing a built-in bench on the side instead of a hanging, um, instead of having an overhang where you have your stools so that you create an actual dining experience where a family can sit around a table versus being only on the island. So this, using a bench, a built-in bench creates room that you don't have to worry about chairs pushing back and forth. So basically we're talking about the back side of the island becoming the bench chair and then we line up a dining room table to the back of that so that we get island, dining table, and then this space is the living room because we're in such kind of tight quarters here. Correct. So it's like super creative on your part actually for Thank you. visualizing that. Well, we have to figure out our solutions when we have small spaces, which I think is one of the most fun things with design because it creates a problem that we turn into an opportunity. And I think that seeing the materials and how they are inviting and functional and then beautiful for, for a family and entertaining because you have this beautiful outdoor deck, but weather happens. <laughs> Especially in Sausalito. Especially in Sausalito. So we don't want you to have to only eat outside. So this way we get to have the best of both worlds, in my opinion. So we'll see. And that's what I love about Jen, is she's always coming up with creative solutions. And they're not only creative, they're really stylish. And I can't wait for you guys to see what she helps me create here. Me too. <laughs> this